Hello and welcome to Messy Church again. If you've been doing the crafts, you'll probably have seen in the bags or in the booklet these symbols that are floating around me now. Wonder, can you spot them all? Can you work out what they are and what order they go into? So let's have a look at all the symbols and then you can have a look at them on the crafts later. Can you work out what order the symbols should go into? Tell what, I'll clap my hands and let's see if we can get them to range in the right order. Is the order that, that, is that the order you had them? Those second two could be either way round as well. They all stand for something to do with Easter. So let's think about what they might remind us about now. The events of Easter start on a day we call Palm Sunday. Jesus arrived in the city of Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Crowds came out to see him and cheered and shouted. They waved their coats and pulled branches from trees to wave like flags. Everyone thought that Jesus was amazing and shouted a big thank you to God. But there were a few people who weren't cheering. They were plotting bad things against Jesus. They spread lies about him and made their plans. Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen. The bad men thought that they were in charge, but God had a plan to do amazing things. So Jesus got his friends together and had a meal with them. They ate some bread and drank some wine. And Jesus said that his body would be broken and his blood would be poured out just like the bread and the wine. At that time, Jesus' friends didn't understand what he meant, but they would realise later that it was all part of God's plan. After the meal, Jesus went to a garden to pray and it was there that he was arrested. He was taken away and put on trial. It was decided that Jesus should be put to death by nailing him to a cross. What a horrible thing to happen. As Jesus was led out towards a cross, his enemies thought that they had won. Their plan had worked, they thought. They smiled as they watched Jesus die. But that's not where the story ended. Jesus was buried in a cave with a big stone put over the mouth to close it up. Jesus had died on a day called Good Friday. But on the following Sunday, some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away. They were puzzled and surprised. Then they turned and saw a man. It was Jesus. He'd come back to life. They realised that this had been part of God's big plan from day one. Jesus had died and come back to life. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but he was punished and he was killed. When Jesus died, it was to help us be forgiven for the wrong things that we do. Jesus came back to life so that he can be with us and help us every day. Oh. Excuse me, just a minute. What's that? Oh, ex sorry about this. I've got a friend and we promised to play noughts and crosses. It won't take long. I'll be with you in a minute. So, okay, I'll just get ready. Okay, I'll let you go first. Where do you want to go? Top left. Okay, we'll put your cross in top left. I think I'll go bottom left. Okay, you want to go top right, okay. Ooh, now, now where shall I go? I know, I'll go bottom middle, because then you see, if he doesn't realise, I can get a line, okay. Right, where would you want to go? I've gone, bottom middle. Okay, you want to go top middle. Uh, oh dear, you've won. Oh, well done. Thank you for the game. We'll play again soon. Bye for now. There were three crosses on the hill and on Good Friday, Jesus died on one of those crosses. He was laid in a tomb, but by Sunday, the stone had been rolled away and there was an empty tomb. Jesus didn't stay dead. He beat death. He won a victory over evil and hatred and all that is ugly and horrible in the world and inside us. And now he can offer us the power to be that in us as well. When we become his followers, that was all part of God's victory plan. It looked like Jesus had lost, but in fact he'd won. 
And that's why that day is called Good Friday. Easter is so important because it tells us loud and clear that Jesus won the victory and is in charge. Jesus died and came alive again. Praise God. We're going to sing a song now that reminds us of what Jesus did at Easter. Why don't you sing along? It's called, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. To earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my debt to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high you came from heaven to earth to show cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high let's finish with a prayer thank you for the fun things we do at easter like eating chocolate eggs but thank you too that you died and came alive again Thank you that you won the victory and that we can be forgiven for the wrong things that we do. Thank you that you are with us every day because you came alive again. Amen. Hope you have a really good Easter. See you again soon. Bye for now.